This edition of My Thoughts Monday is brought to you by Valve Performance, the team behind the Nordboard, Four Stacks, the Groin Bar, and Human Track. Guys, the most important ability for all of our athletes is availability, and that's the absolute goal of Valve Performance, is to provide solutions to performance professionals so that we can get the right information to make the right decision at the right time for the betterment of the athletes that we get to work with. To do this, guys, they have a wide range of validated products that focus on usability, and having been founded by the School of Exercise and Nutrition Sciences at the Queensland University of Technology, they're extremely evidence-based and they're beyond transparent. I can tell you that our time using the Nordboard and being involved with Forstex, we have been introduced to so many amazing people that have truly helped us become better coaches, have a better understanding, not just of the technology, but also what we're doing with our athletes. So make sure you hop over to ValPerformance.com today to make sure you check out what they got. It's going to make you better and to do better by your athletes. The world of strength and conditioning is filled with some awesome practitioners who are always trying to evolve and continue to grow professionally throughout their career. The problem with many of us, though, is finding a new outlet, a new way and a new perspective on the questions that we may have whether it be programming, whether it be situational with dealing with coaches, or whether it be career advice. Because all too often what happens is we get stuck in with the same group of friends and the same group of colleagues that we reach out to for advice repeatedly over and over again. But what we should really be looking for is different perspectives, different people who have been through different situations who can help us make better decisions both for ourselves and our athletes. And one awesome place to start with that is the forums in the Strength Coach Network. In the forums in the Strength Coach Network, you'll be able to reach out and get feedback, input, and advice from coaches from all over the world, from everything, from career advice to training modalities to programming. There's people there just for the same reason as you are, to try to get better, to learn, to share information, and to grow the field of strength and conditioning. So hop on over to strengthcoachnetwork.com slash cvasps. That's strengthcoachnetwork.com slash cvasps to dive into all that great content today and get your 48-hour trial for only a dollar. I look forward to seeing you in the Strength Coach Network. Hey everybody, Darren Roberts here, and I'm going to be doing My Thoughts Monday, which is a preview of my talk next year at CVASPS, which is going to be managing the unmanageable. Thanks to Jay for inviting me across. I'm really looking forward to heading over, not so much to share my ideas, but to listen to everyone else and see what else I can pick up and the knowledge share it's great to make personal connections. Social media is not CPD. I'm all about meeting people face-to-face, -face, so I'm really looking forward to it. The only downside I can see is, is maybe having to run into Keir when I'm flat. If I can avoid him, that would be ideal, obviously. And I think um, I've got a good feeling about doing this monologue because Jay has been asking me to do it probably for about four or five weeks now. I've successfully matrixed it, avoided it, and I think he's about to have a nervous breakdown. So now I've finally done it, um, he can probably sleep well at night. And also, thanks to Nick DeMarco, he did a fantastic My Thoughts Monday, uh, super slick, fantastic monologue, and uh, will make me look like a bumbling idiot, which you know isn't difficult. So on to next year then and what I'm going to talk about. I appreciate that absolutely none of you will have heard of me. Um, maybe that's something that we'll touch on next year, or maybe it's another talk entirely about... Does it matter whether you've heard of someone or not? Um, but uh, the the athletes that I work with, action sport athletes or extreme sport athletes, as you would know them, I'm very, very lucky to work with world-class action sport athletes and have done for 15 or so years now. Super spoiled because they're a fantastic group of athletes to work with. Uh, I do say it's like herding cats, again, which is something that I'll talk about. But as much as they drive me crazy, they're a fantastic group to work with and uh, I wouldn't do anything else. So my talk specifically, what should you expect? Well, it's not going to be about sets, reps, drills or programming, certainly. This is going to be about how you work with a group of people who are world class at what they do because they do not do as they're told. If you want to know about this in more detail, then you can listen to the podcast that I've done with Jay. And I've also done a podcast recently with uh, Brett Bartholomew and uh, along the similar lines, which is how you work with these athletes. And 
this is what my presentation is going to be about because they're not just a bunch of loose kids doing loose things, which on the face of it they may appear to be, but what goes on behind that, uh, the detail, the work, the preparation, the mindset, all of these things that make up the human being that is an action sport athlete. And it's really about that human side and connecting with that human side to get the best out of them from a performance point of view. And what even do we mean by that from a performance point of view? What is performance to an action sport athlete? Because what that means to a football player or soccer player, as you would call them, and what that means to an action sport athlete can be very, very different. One of the idiosyncrasies that you've got to bear in mind with action sport athletes as fun and crazy and amazing as it may look is there are very real consequences to what they do and the line between extreme trauma and brilliance is a very, very thin one. It's one of the sad facts of the job that I do that I've been through five athlete fatalities and that's not something that you would expect to go through uh, working as a performance practitioner unless you're in the military. And ultimately, these kind of consequences to what they do, managing fear, fear is healthy, panic is deadly, and how they use fear uh, as a performance tool, all of these things I'm going to go through in my presentation as to what makes up an action sport athlete. But as I say, this is very much about them as people and also about us as coaches, how we connect, how we work with them, and ultimately respecting their map of the world and making sure that it isn't us and as coaches and our limited paradigm, certainly from a strength and conditioning perspective, that slows them down. Because if I improve an athlete's three rep max deadlift in the gym, then all I've done is improve their three rep max deadlift in the gym. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be a better action sport athlete for it. We shouldn't be training action sport athletes as if they are running backs or wide receivers, no more than you would train a running back or a wide receiver as if they were a snowboarder. You train them to their sport, to their context, and you prepare them um, within the constraints of their sport and also what that looks like to them. It's quite hard to describe and it's quite hard to summarize in uh, any kind of monologue without being questioned, but... Action sport athletes, they are unique characters and that doesn't mean that I've got genre blindness that, oh, you know, we're so special, we're so different because every sport says that. This is about embracing chaos, embracing the athletes and their sports for what they are, understanding that they've been doing pretty well up until my involvement with them. So really, what is my role? How do I help them? And if I look at them through a lens purely of strength and conditioning, which is about looking at them as a set of KPIs, soft tissues to be manipulated and adapted, I am not going to get the best out of them as athletes. And in fact, I would question whether you would get the best out of any athlete if you look at them purely through uh, data sets. Dealing with people with hopes, fears, desires, doubts and dreams and the emotional side of the athlete and connecting with them on that human level, which I know sounds really flaky. It's not very easily graphed uh, or measured. And how these athletes learn virally from each other is something that I'm going to go through in this talk. I've probably caused a lot more confusion uh, than answered any questions. And um, I don't know if I've done myself any favors in persuading any of you to uh, come and listen to me. But certainly, I think there's lessons to be learned in all sports and for all coaches and athletes from action sports how we work together how we collaborate and how the athletes learn virally that's it that's all i'm going to say i'm really looking forward to seeing you all next year uh, hopefully jay can get a good night's sleep now and uh, relax because i've done my thoughts monday and uh, thanks a lot and i will see you next year thank you <laughs>